Hey everybody, this is Edger Joe and welcome to another video in my series on uh, Python. And um, I'm going to do a video series now on the basics of Python. And how I'm going to do it is to help you to code a maths quiz that you can actually use. Um, and then hopefully have another advanced version of it later on in the series. So that you um, get proficient with uh, Python and the basics of Python itself. So um, I'm using Python uh, uh, 3.5 is the one that my version that I'm using. I'm assuming you've already uh, installed Python on your um, computer or you're using a Raspberry Pi that's got Python on it uh, or something like that. So if you haven't, there's many videos on, online that you can look at how to install it. It's straightforward. You find it and you run it and it should be it should be fine. So let me just show you how to open it. So I'm going to close Python right there. You can go to start all programs in Windows and then if you go down to P you will find uh, Python, I've got 3.5 and you want to open idle. Uh, I've got the 64-bit version because my laptop is a 64-bit laptop. Um, if you have a 32-bit laptop it won't say it there, it'll just have Python 3.5. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that and this will open up the shell for us. This is the Python shell and in the shell is where you can um, have functions and you can type for example 1 plus 2 and if you enter it gives you 3 okay and so that's um, that's how it works you can use you can use the shell to do um, simple simple codes and simple scripts and so on but you cannot edit in the Python shell um, so I don't use it that often I prefer to use the text um, editor or the Python editor so if you go to file uh, new file will give you the editor if you got 3.5.1, it says new file. If you have an older version, like 3.2, it'll show you probably something like new uh, window or something to that effect. So I'm just going to say new file, and this opens our text editor. So I'm going to close this shell. Every time you run the program, it opens the shell anyway. So I'm just going to go here. Right, just get a feel for this editor under file. This, the options you will are likely to use are things like new file, open, uh, recent files, uh, any recent files that you may have done. Um, and to save it and so on. Um, the run you will also use, or I use the shortcut for an anyway F5, but there you can run your code and see if there's any errors or things like that. And then options is where you can configure um, what it looks like, the environment, how it looks like. Um, I've got my size to 14 and um, so on. And you can set the, set the, the spaces and things like that. So um, I'm just going to keep the default there of um, four spaces for a tab and size 14 and I'm just going to say OK. Right, so that's a quick run through. The maths quiz that we are going to do is going to be a simple maths quiz. You're going to add uh, two random numbers uh, between 1 and 10. You're going to add them together and you're going to ask uh, that type of question five times. So I'm going to show you um, how to use, how to comment uh, your code, how to import libraries, um, how to display text on the screen, how to create uh, variables and what they are. We're going to look at uh, a couple of variables. We're also going to look at uh, a loop or something called a while loop. So it can sort of run through the different questions and generate the questions for you. And um, we're going to use a, um, some branching, a, a if uh, else statement. And um, we've got a few lines of code. If I look quickly at the code that I've done uh, on the paper, <laughs> It's, um, I reckon there's about 20 lines of code, maybe 25 lines. It's not a, it's not a big program, it's a, it's a quick program. And once, once you know all the basics, you'll be able to do similar programs like that. Right, so let's get started. First of all, commenting. Something that many, many people um, don't do. They don't do the comments or they said, I'll do it later and then later they just never do it. It's very important to comment your code because it tells you um, what you are doing. It also, if you're working for a company one day where they expect you to do coding, and you're ill or something like that, another coder can come and they can see, oh, this is what you're trying to do or what you've done, and they can carry on from there and they will add their own comments as well. So to make a comment in Python, you use the hash key. That is just to the left of your enter key. So we want to give it a title, so it's maths quiz, maths quiz, and then I'm going to put my name, Edgy Joe, and then I'm going to put the date, today is 10th, 12th, 2016, and I'm going to just check that, yeah, spelling is fine. And then I'm going to enter um, a couple of times. Right, so, and we will use this frequently. We're going to introduce, whoa, we're going to also introduce um, 
have an intro for for the users. Sorry, I'm looking <laughs> elsewhere now. Um, to, we're going to have an intro for our users as well for our software. And um, but um, yeah, we want to we want to welcome them. So in order, let me just go there. Ding, ding, ding. Right. So we're going to welcome them. So as part of our intro, we will need to say welcome because you want to interact with your um, with a user, the person that's using your software. So to do that, we need to print something on the screen. By the way, if you run your code, Python ignores any comments like that because of the hashtag. It ignores any blank spaces um, like that line, and it'll ignore that one because it's a comment as well. So the first function you are learning is the print function. So the print function works like this. Um, you can use single or double quotes, and normally people will say something like, hello world. It's normally the first thing you learn. I'll just I'll actually use the long way. I'll go run, run module. So I want to save it. So I'm going to save it as maths quiz. And I'm just going to save that there. So you can see hello world. So that's what's being displayed. It ignored all the comments, all the blank lines, and it just displays the, the bit in quotes. And it, and it executes the program in the shell. Uh, in this case, so there we go. We're not going to use Hello World. We want to well, we want to um, welcome our user. So we're going to say something like "Welcome to my maths quiz." And I'm just quickly checking the spelling. Oh, that's fine. If there's any issues with the code or you see spelling mistakes that I've missed in my videos, just uh, use the comment section at the bottom, and uh, I will have a look at that. And I will thank you deeply for helping me look at this. So you've already seen that this works, so this time I'm just going to add another one and I'll add a blank line like that which is, uh, oh let me just show you, if I go if I go, um, uh, remember th let me just let me just run, I'll just go, I'll just put that in, I'm going to run this now, so you're going to see it's going to ignore all of that uh, including the blank line, it doesn't actually add a blank line, so I'm going to just do that F5, run it, and you will see it'll have welcome and the RR. So everything else is ignored, right? So if we want a blank line, we just um, put nothing in between the single quotes or nothing between the quotes, and then we can have our next uh, line of code right there. And I'm going to say um, we want to ask them for their name, isn't it? Ask the user for their name. There we go, ask the user for the name. And we're going to say there, what is your name, or who are you, or something to that effect. We are we are trying to interact with the user the whole time. So uh, and there's going to be no no um, blank line at the moment under that. So let me run that again. F5. Let's see what's going on. So we say, welcome to my maths quiz. There is our print single quote single quote with nothing in between. That's the blank line. What is your name? So um, so we obviously we're asking the user for their name. But we also want to tell the user, once we have got their name, we want them to uh, just press enter. That's what we want. So we just say, remember to press the, uh, let me use double quotes there, to press the enter, oops, that's fine, press the enter key after every answer. That includes not just their name but also when they're doing the actual um, quiz. So I'm just going to put that up at a full stop to make it nice and proper for schools. And then I'm going to run it. I'm testing my code. I run it so we should have three lines of code um, that's printing something, displaying something. Welcome to my maths quiz. What is your name? Remember, ooh, I need it. So yes, to press the enter key after every answer. Right, so let me just fix that mistake. Boom. There we go. Okay, so what is next? I want another blank line. So yes, you guessed it. It is just like that. Or not really. I actually have to keep that in. There we go. So test it again. F5 run. And I should have a blank right there's my blank line in there. So uh, that is cool. That is cool. So if this is the first time ever you've done Python, you already learned two things. One, you've already learned to comment your code. And two, you've uh, learned to use the print function which is just print open bracket single quotes close bracket or double quotes would work just as well let me just quickly show you if I do double quotes like that F5 run it and you will still have this space over there 
So let me close that and I'm just going to use the single quotes. As you can see over here, if I use, see if, I, if that was a single quote that may have been, you see, then it doesn't accept that part. Um, and if that was a single quote, it would have left this out, that part out. Um, because it takes the bits between the single quotes and the bits between the single quotes. So if I want to also have that word included and I wanted to have some sort of a, a quotation, then um, you, you can interchange uh, the quotes. So I can either use double quotes at the back. Let me just do show you actually. You can use double quotes at the back, single quotes in the middle, single quote in the middle. And although it accepts it like that, just for continuity I'll just make that the double quote. So I've got double quotes on the on the ends over there and then single quotes in the middle. So you can use any any way you like. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, okay let me just show you that actually works. F5 run and then you will see there we go. Remember to press the enter key and then it shows those quotes and so on. Cool. I'm gonna change it back because I'm like that. <laughs> so I'm going to put double quotes there and I'm going to put a double quote there. Whoa, let's go down, go that way. And a single quote over there. Cool. So in this video, you learned quite a lot. Uh, two things, but it's already very powerful. You can already start to write stories or whatever you want uh, on there. You can use obviously any um, welcoming introduction, uh, whatever you want to write. You can type your own thing. But I'm just going to do a simple math quiz anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, in the next video, I'm going to teach you all about variables. Because we're going to ask the user for their name. But then we have to store their name somewhere. Um, and I'm going to tell you all about that. So, um, yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not done so. And follow me on Twitter. And, uh, yep, see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.